Welcome back to Unlock the Inbox video tutorials. In this video we're going to cover the Open Relay Test tool. Uh, the Open Relay Test allows you to determine if your mail server is an open relay. We do this by attempting to send a message through it destined for an email address that does not belong on that server. For example, if you had a domain of example.com and we tried to send an email to bob at example.com, your mail server should accept that because bob lives at bob at example.com. He's on that server. However, if I try to send an email to you, and let's say I'm trying to send it to through your server, and the person I'm trying to send it to is bob at example2.com, well, example2.com is not example.com. Your server should not accept that message and then pass it along. When it accepts that message and passes it along to example2.com, that's considered an open relay, and spammers love those kind of servers because... It'll look like you sent it, and they can send spam all day long and not get any trouble at all. It's going to look like your domain was the one responsible for passing that spam along. So using a tool like this is very important. It'll definitely keep you out of hot water, and it'll keep you off blacklists and all sorts of other things like that. So uh, visit this on a regular basis just to make sure any configuration changes may not have impacted you. So what I'm going to do is uh, just do a check here on our server. And you can see here that I've run the report. I am trying to connect to mail.unlocktheinbox.com. that will give you the IP address in case you need to use that. It's going to basically go through a couple status checks. It's going to see if, number one, it's online. It's basically responding to connection attempts. Um, we're then going to try and make a direct connection to port 25 SMTP. If this is successful, you'll get a green light here as well. And then we're going to attempt to do the relay at this point in time. We will go ahead and try and pass through a... You know, fictitious email address and see if it'll accept that if it accepts that address for the the receipt to by receipt to I mean this is the uh, the code that's happening behind the scenes it's trying to pass that along and if that successfully accepts a um, a recipient that's not on this domain then it's going to fire an error send back to us a 550 or some other error code and we will get a red light here indicating that it did not accept and this is the overall overall green light meaning that you passed if this one down here is red it would mean also that this one was green that it did allow us to try to relay through and that would be a very bad thing and this status message here at the bottom would also indicate that you are an open relay and you need to change your configuration if you have some questions about how to go about you know, learning more about open relays. Let's go ahead and hit this how to avoid being an open relay link. Some pretty good info in here. Nice little graphic for you. Uh, this will take you through some of the things. This links back to the relay tool in case you need to get back over there. Um, and again, this is going to be important for you to make sure that you're not being abused by spammers. So please come and use this tool as often as necessary. And share this by clicking here. Just share that off with your friends. Make sure that they're also not going to be falling victim to spammers. Also, just like to take a moment to mention that we do have a donate option available for Unlock the Inbox now. If you use these tools and you have the means to do so and would like to make a small donation or a large donation, if that's what you would like, uh, we have this page set up for you right here. It's uh, unlocktheinbox.com slash sponsor. You can make a small donation and you can also choose to do a corporate sponsorship, which involves us putting your advertisement right here. Thank you very much for watching this video and we hope to see you around.